The weird and wonderful laws of North Korea. Laws and regulations exist in every country, but North Korea has some bizarre laws that will make you wonder how the citizens can follow them. Behind these eccentric laws is the same motive, to control the population. Let's find out just how weird these laws are, shall we? Haircuts need to be approved by the state. The citizens of North Korea can never have any new hairstyle as they must only get haircuts that the state approves. That's right. Even their hair is not theirs to style as they, please. Sounds horrifying, doesn't it? By abiding by this rather unfair law, uniformity can exist among the people. It's as though everyone is in school with strict rules and must not have any hairstyle that may catch the attention of others. For women, 18 different types of hairstyles are state regulated, and for men, there are 10. Men's hair must not exceed a certain length, around two inches. At the same time, single women can have longer hair than married women. As far as Kim Jong-un is concerned, no one but him can have that hairstyle. The question is, did anyone want it? Though, not allowed to smile on the death anniversary of Kim Tu-sung. Kim Tu-sung was the grandfather of Kim Jong-un, and sadly, he passed away in 1994. July 8th is declared a nationwide mourning day as he was also a father figure to the entire country. It is understandable to respect the deceased, but in North Korea, Every year on July 8th, people are not allowed to smile or even talk too loudly. On the day of the passing, everyone was ordered to mourn. Anyone who did not grieve properly was to the labor camps as punishment. People are also not allowed to behave in specific ways in front of the statues of the leaders. For example, talking loudly and chewing gum is prohibited. Need permission from the government to move to the capital? For those who live in the countryside, life is more challenging. Whereas in the capital, Pyongyang, there is some relief. The only problem is people cannot simply decide to move there. You must get permission from the government before packing your bags. Think of it as asking your parents permission to go on a trip with your friends. Never easy, right? You will find that this is the reason mostly the upper class resides in the city. To further add to the troubles, there are roadblocks everywhere. Voting is not optional. Everyone has a choice, as an adult, whether they wish to vote or not. You might decide you do not want to support anyone in the elections and skip the process. The citizens of North Korea do not have that choice. Anyone who is 17 years old or above must vote, no matter what. Whatever this is, it is not democracy. Everyone is being monitored through this process, and it is no less terrifying than a dystopian sci-fi novel. The government decides what you watch. Not only does the government decide if you can move to the capital, but they also decide what you can watch on TV. There are only four official channels that the government approves, and you complain there aren't any good shows on Netflix. The government scripts every word Korean Central Television hears regarding the state news. Criminal is not the only one punished. If you thought that things couldn't possibly get any worse for the people residing in North Korea, brace yourself for the following law. It is known as the three-generation rule. This rule states that once a criminal is caught and sent to the labor camp, their whole family will be arrested and sent along with them. As if that is not cruel and unfair enough, the next two generations of the family will be born and raised in the labor camp and live their entire life there. Aside from the criminal, no one is guilty, yet three generations must pay for the crime simply because of association. International phone calls are not allowed. Remember the era before smartphones, when you had to use the landline in your home to reach out to your friends, Recall how you would be careful because your parents might be listening in. Every phone call is regulated in North Korea. Local calls are monitored because you cannot even make international phone calls, to begin with. 
Anyone caught making an international call through a black market Chinese cell phone can be hanged to death, as information cannot go in or out of the country. Escaping the country is not possible. People living in North Korea cannot even consider living any other way as they are not allowed to escape the country. The citizens must remain loyal. Therefore, escaping is a cardinal sin. Anyone who attempts an escape will be sent to labor camps and executed. Quite a few stories tell the horrifying outcome of those who tried to escape. The ones who dared to attempt to escape are not the only ones who are punished, but their families also face severe consequences. Internet access is denied. As you know, information must stay in and out of the country. So, access to the internet is not allowed for the citizens of North Korea. Government officials are kept from accessing any website. Even they have limited access. As of 2016, Reports state that there are only 28 websites that officials have access to. Imagine not knowing what a meme is. Cannot own or drive a car. Regarding necessities and rights, North Korea knows how to take them away from the people. You cannot even own a car. Well, you can if you are a male and are a government official. Traveling anywhere must be such a complex and time-consuming task when you can't drive to any place. This law exists because the government wants the country not to be congested by vehicles. Well, they sure don't seem to care that it's congested by unfair laws. Rush hour in North Korea is a sight as a car can have 10 freeway lanes.